This video explains how to fix your printer when your printer stops feeding paper and a paper jam error message displays on the control panel. In this step, we will clear any jams from the paper trays. Do not remove jammed paper at this time. Begin by removing any loose paper from the input and output tray. Press the power button to turn off the printer. In some cases, it may not turn off. Whether or not the printer turns off, in the next step, we need to unplug the printer. Turn to the back of the printer. Remove the USB cable from the printer. Unplug the power cord. Remove the duplexer. To do this, push the right side of the duplexer to the left and then pull out the duplexer. Check the back of the printer for jammed paper. If you see any paper, remove it by pulling evenly with both hands to avoid tearing. Check the rollers and wheels for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search the back of the printer to find all small scraps of paper. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. Now let's check inside the duplexer for any jams. Open the duplexer by pressing the two tabs on each side of the duplexer. Remove any jammed paper from inside the duplexer. Once all the paper has been removed, close the duplexer until the tabs on both sides of the duplexer snap into place. Reattach the duplexer. Insert the two pegs on the left side of the duplexer into the left side of the printer and then push the duplexer into place. Make sure the duplexer is firmly attached. If you cannot fix the paper jam from the back of the printer, we will try to fix it working from the front paper trays. Return to the front of the printer. Raise the paper output tray. Grasp any jammed paper in the paper tray with both hands and then pull it toward you to remove it. Remove the paper as carefully as possible. If any torn pieces remain inside, more paper jams are likely to occur. Open the cartridge access door. Carefully remove any paper you see. Make sure you get any small pieces that might tear off. Check the rollers and wheels for any remaining pieces of paper. You must remove all scraps of paper to prevent future jams. Small pieces of paper can easily stick in places that are difficult to see. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search left and right inside the printer. Searching the carriage path with a flashlight is an important step in preventing future jams. When you've removed all of the paper, close the cartridge access door. Turn to the back. Reconnect the power cord. Return to the front. If the printer does not turn on automatically, press the power button to turn it on. Align the paper by tapping the stack on a flat surface. Then, raise and hold the output tray in the open position. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Lower the output tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. To print a page from the printer's control panel, touch the Settings icon. This icon looks like a small wrench. Touch Tools. Then touch Printer status report. 
If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Use the following steps to make sure the carriage can move freely. The printer must still be powered on for these steps to work. Raise the output tray and remove the paper from the input tray. Lower the output tray. Open the cartridge access door so that you can view the carriage. The carriage will move to the center of the printer. Turn to the back. While the printer is still powered on, disconnect the power cord from the printer. Then, disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Return to the front. Look inside the printer and check for paper or other obstructions around the carriage that could prevent it from moving. Use a flashlight for proper viewing. Remove any paper that is found. If the paper tears when you remove it from the rollers, check the rollers and wheels for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. If pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more jams are likely to occur. Reach inside the printer through the cartridge access door and then manually move the carriage. Remove any obstructions that are found while moving the carriage. Ensure the carriage moves freely from all the way to the left to all the way to the right. Once all obstructions are removed and the carriage can move the full width of the carriage path, close the cartridge access door. Turn to the back. Reconnect the power cord into its power source. Then, reconnect the other end of the power cord into the printer. Return to the front. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button to turn on the printer. Align the paper by tapping the stack on a flat surface. Then, raise and hold the output tray in the open position. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Lower the output tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. To print a page from the printer's control panel, touch the Settings icon. This icon looks like a small wrench. Touch Tools. Then touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Printer rollers get dirty from dust, paper fiber, and other debris. In this step, we'll clean the rollers. Before you begin, gather the following cleaning materials. Clean lint-free cloth. Clean water. Distilled or bottled water is preferable, but not required. Do not use alcohol or other chemical cleaners. Raise the output tray and remove the paper from the input tray. Lower the output tray. Press the power button to turn off the printer. Turn to the back. Disconnect the power cord. Remove the duplexer. To do this, push the right side of the duplexer to the left and then pull out the duplexer. Clean the pick rollers visible in the printer with a clean, lint-free cloth lightly moistened with water. The cloth should be damp, but not soaking wet. 
Wipe each roller, starting on the right side of the roller and wiping to the left. Use your finger to turn the roller up as you finish cleaning a section of the roller. Make sure that you remove any buildup or debris from the entire surface of the rollers. Now let's clean the rollers in the duplexer. Access the paper feed rollers by pressing the two tabs on both sides of the duplexer to open it. Clean the paper feed rollers in the duplexer using a clean, lint-free cloth lightly moistened with water in the same way you cleaned the rollers inside the printer. Check the rollers to make sure they are clean, free of debris, and rotate freely. Close the duplexer until the tabs on both sides of the duplexer snap into place. Reattach the duplexer. Insert the two pegs on the left side of the duplexer into the left side of the printer and then push the duplexer into place. Make sure the duplexer is firmly attached. Reconnect the power cord. Return to the front. Press the power button to turn the printer on. Align the paper by tapping the stack on a flat surface. Then, raise and hold the output tray in the open position. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Lower the output tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. To print a page from the printer's control panel, touch the Settings icon. This icon looks like a small wrench. Touch Tools. Then touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Sometimes, after cleaning the rollers, the printer may require a power reset. The printer must still be on for these steps to work. Raise the output tray and remove the paper from the input tray. Lower the output tray. Turn to the back. While the printer is still powered on, disconnect the power cord from the printer. Then. Disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Wait 15 seconds. It is important to wait the full 15 seconds to allow the print mechanism to reset. Reconnect the power cord into its power source. Then, reconnect the other end of the power cord into the printer. Return to the front. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button to turn on the printer. Align the paper by tapping the stack on a flat surface. Then, raise and hold the output tray in the open position. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Lower the output tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. To print a page from the printer's control panel, touch the Settings icon. This icon looks like a small wrench. Touch Tools. Then touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. 
If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned it and what country you live in.